What's up, everybody? It's the Column Tarot Podcast. A little intro into this episode real quick before we get going. Ari Shafir, Andy Hayes, and Lamer Lee were all guests on this podcast at the Moon Tower Festival in Austin. Shout out to Moon Tower. Shout out to Austin. Shout out to the industry. Shout out to white guys and shout out to Lemur. Uh This episode took a little while for me to edit because the audio was so fucked up. So, uh, look, it is what it is. Uh, sometimes audio just doesn't come out perfectly. So if you're watching or listening to this, just give this, if the, particularly at the very beginning, it's a little shitty, but then it gets it gets better as the episode goes on, but also that your ears will get better too. So have fun. Also, we I was pretty drunk doing this episode. I don't really remember what we said. From this skimming through it, there was a lot of slurs. I probably, under false pretenses, told the fellas that were doing this podcast that none of this would ever see the light of day. So that so that so then they said some awful things. But now I'm releasing them because I I uh, I'm a devil, and I don't want to record a new episode. I'm also recording this intro right now from my fiance's walk-in closet that I built like a legend. Do you do do did any of you can any of you do anything like that? Cutoffs too. Look at that. What a fucking legend. Look at that. Look at those gains, bro. Look at those gains. All that Greek yogurt. Look at the fucking gains, dude. Uh, <laughs> if you're listening, you're missing out. As always, head over to patreon.com slash You get an extra episode every week. It's a solo podcast, audio only. A deep dive into the fucking madness within my brain. We are launching... We're rocking? <laughs> I don't know what the word is, but we're, we're flying towards... Um, Nearly 800 subscribers, and we just started a new goal. All right, I know we're t- we said we're gonna fry an egg at 867, but it's taking too long, so we're gonna do it at 800 subscribers. I'm gonna head down to a uh, Philadelphia Eagles game and record the tailgate. So we are only a few people away, it's only a dollar a month. And here's what I'll tell you head over, you can do a free trial. It's- Try it out for seven days. If you don't like the episodes, leave. It's not a big deal. It's only a dollar a month. Get the whole year for 10 away. We're giving it away. But sincerely, come see me on the road. Thank you for everyone who came saw me in uh, San Francisco. Honestly, at times, some of the best shows I've ever had, if that even makes sense. I really think I've turned the corner. I used to be really shit, and now I'm just a little shit. I'm just a little shit at stand-up comedy. Have a look at my special. Was that a little shit? I'm better than that now. I'm better at it. Uh, but I've got dates. If you're look, if you're watching this live right now, the second it aired, I will be this weekend in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, by the way, columntyrell.com for all these tickets. Let me fucking run through a couple of these places. Seattle, Washington, Portland, Oregon, Long Island, New York, Tampa, Florida, Port Charlotte, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida, Cincinnati, Ohio, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Batavia, Illinois, Skankfest, Vegas, Bunch more dates all around the south. I'll be in Galway, Ireland, and um, Burlington, Vermont. Me and Lil Sass, Lil Sass, Colum Tyrrell, and friends. We got some special guests there. That's a Sunday, October 20th. Get tickets for that. That's the one you want to see. Me, Sass, and we're bringing a couple of fucking good comedians from New York and Austin. Um, but the Austin comics more most likely will um, uh, not show up day of. All right, that's Everton. Follow Ari Shafir. Check out his new podcast, You Be Trippin'. I just did two episodes, one where I guest hosted and then one where he interviewed me. Lemur Lee, check out Panties in the Mouth. And Andy Hayes does not have a podcast to my knowledge, but he is on Instagram and he's got clips and he has a special called uh, The Sheriff of Gramercy, if I can remember that correctly. Or maybe The Cowboy of Gramercy. Check out uh, uh, Andy's Gray. Anyway... Enjoy this podcast. Sorry about the audio. Uh, check out the Patreon. Join the mother fucking 1008. Ah, not like a 
podcast we knew for four years that it doesn't show any results. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why am I doing it? Who knows? It's just a thing you do. Like eating pussy. It's just a thing. <laughs> podcast and eating pussy. It's like, it might make you big, but the chances are I won't. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is the Colin Turtle podcast, folks. Thanks for coming out. We all have a good fest so far. <laughs> we all have a good fest so far. The lanyards. <laughs> and what, is that what you call them in America? The lanyards? Yeah. yeah. Lanyards? Yeah. Oh, Alright, just you know, because sometimes you're like, it's a lanyard. And you're like, oh, really? It's called a necktie, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, but it, it's, I don't like that everyone has the same, like a thing. Because you, you seem official. You're, you're just. You're just paying debt. <laughs> You're just nobody. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it might be, it might be a hot chop on HBO. You know, no, I'm a chick who bought a weekend pass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's sad. Is your life? <laughs> is there any? So you got, you got this. It's called Flow Premium. Yes. And what does that mean? Skip that's the line. Question. Skip the lines. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you'd still be out there, but you can <laughs> I'm sorry, this is an argue garbage, but it's not out there. It's called the four people? Great. I say they're from my friend. <laughs> ah, they did you, they, they did a number on you. Uh, I, probably, I wish I was more successful too. <laughs> Alright, so we got the club premium front row seats. What's that? You just regular club? This is just. Yeah. Just regular club. This is the cheapest club you could get. Just the cheapest version. Yeah. All right. That's nice. It seems insulting. Kind of. <laughs> it's kind of seems a little insulting. So what were you, were you standing there and these guys just whiz by it? <laughs> and you're like, this is bullshit. This is, this is bullshit. Wait, what? Well, fuck you. We're the next we're getting to know each other. You guys showed up late a little bit. All right. What else have we got? Anyone else have a different? What's that? Is that industry? What is that? Is there any industry here? You know. <laughs> someday, someday there will be. Someday there'll be a guy from Netflix who wants to hire me on some sort of 20 minute special thing, but until this day, so we're just gonna have fun. All right, so this is the column. Who actually, who actually listens to the podcast ever? The column that you do? Yes, book of people, right? Oh, absolutely outnumbered. You're absolutely outnumbered. <laughs> It's a wild for to come see a live podcast and not actually listen to it at all is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, we're doing all right. And four people are like, yeah. What do you, what do, you do for a living? Like, do you drive forklift and you listen to me say racist things? Ironically, <laughs> under the guise of irony, but there's a, there's a lot of truth in there. Yeah. And what do you do? What do you do? What's in the podcast? You listen to what you work in an office. You work in an office? Yeah. What do you what's your office job for? Just boring, which is the import export kind of shit. Get what what type of shit? What yeah, any, any commercial good. Uh, just commercial good goods. Yeah. What um what's you are you do you have a partner in life or what do you was this be single? What do you how old are you? I'm divorced. You're divorced? Yeah, Whether did you born? Did you born to that? I did so. Did you? Did you? I get home and go, oh, the ins and outs, and the logistics of the imports. Is it crap? I can't give me your opportunity. Like, ah, I think like, ah, 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 ah. Couldn't be worse. Logistics of goods. Yeah. What type of goods? You wouldn't even want to know. You wouldn't even want to know. Why the fuck were you late? You're lucky this didn't set up. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> one thing about a Colin Terrell show is you can show whatever you want. <laughs> Will there be seats? Oh, yeah. Leg room, Paul. <laughs> there you go. Check out the show. I've been doing it for years and now I'm trapped in the relationship with the show that I don't want to do anymore. It is podcasting. That's what it is. You start the show and then it's like every week, but it's every week until like you die. And it's not like, <laughs> it's like you didn't miss a week and it was like, what the fuck happened? And you're like, M my mother I killed herself <laughs> with the podcast. But they're like, not good enough, dude. <laughs> I want my Christmas Eve show. <laughs> I'm sorry, you have a fucking logistics job and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to have some guests out here. 
And it would be fun to just do a solo part like this, though, right? Wouldn't that kind of be fun? <laughs> <laughs> if I just kind of just ramble to myself for an hour? Because that's a lot of the... Join, join the Patreon. <laughs> If you, if you think what I'm saying right now in front of people, it's not even. I'm alone in my bed. I say insane things. Like, I've said stuff where I even stop myself and go, come on, man, you shouldn't say that. <laughs> you ever interrupt yourself and go, that's not right. Come on. <laughs> anyway, check out the, the Patreon. I, I just do it on my own. No video, just with audio. Video, solo podcast with video. Solo podcast with audio is like cool. You listen, you're like, you're in their brain. It's like a they're letting you be a part of that world. You're like, wow, what they're saying it. Watching them is insane. <laughs> like, if you saw a podcast where there's a camera, you're like, this is an insane human. <laughs> Someone needs to put them in a home. And when you listen to it, you're like, oh my God, they're sharing so intimate things. <laughs> when you see the video, you're like, that's not, that's insane. Well, Tim Dillon, because he's like, ah, ah. <laughs> Tim Dillon has a thing to say. Tim's like, ah, the Jews or whatever. <laughs> that, he's not wrong, the Jews. <laughs> But the Jews? Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> like he has a thing to say. Whereas Bill Burr is like, ah, I too much salami. You don't watch it. You don't watch Burr going, this fucking salami sandwich. You don't watch it. You listen to him. That's my theory. And then Theo Vaughn does questions from the audience, which isn't good. All right, we're gonna bring up the we're gonna bring up the guests. We're gonna sit around with our phones. We'll talk about the podcast. We're gonna ask some questions or crowd. We'll probably do a game with the, with you guys. If that's awesome, fun. Yeah. While we're doing it, so uh, <laughs> the least, the less excited you are for the game, I don't care. <laughs> also, this is recorded. The audio is being recorded for the podcast. Eventually, if you're listening at home, they are laughing, but they're not mic'd up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and let that be uh, the same with my special. <laughs> Check it out on YouTube, almost at 200k. <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna bring out uh, some comedians. You guys ready for some comedians? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, first guy is a black guy. Yeah. 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 Please welcome to the stage, Lamar Lee! <laughs> this, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Sick thing. Man, the, I asked you to dress up. <laughs> How you doing, Lemire? I'm good. What, did, did any of this you bring yourself? Uh, what, huh? Did any of this you bring yourself? Did, no, it's from here. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it in the back and thought I'd be full cowpoke. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's a pirate hat, but I'm a I'm a cowpoke today. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, What's your horse's name? Lightning. Lightning? Yeah. <laughs> Watch out, dude. It's fast as hell. Fast as shit. Yeah. Is that a dead Red Dead Redemption? <laughs> yeah, is it? Yeah. That's the name of the horse in Red Dead so. Redemption. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Arthur's horse's lightning. Do uh let's make a ratio real quick. Um <laughs> Do do blue black guys ride horses often? Dude. In Philly, <laughs> in Philly, they got guys riding cowboy or uh, horses all the time. It's like city horses. City, oh, they're like yeah. scumbag horses. No. <laughs> yeah. In, in Ireland, yeah. in Ireland, that's the way it is. Also, it's like you're either rich as fuck on a horse, or you're the poorest person you've ever yeah. met. And there's no one in the between. And the di the difference is they have saddles and these do not. Yeah. So, hey, there is a lot of just scumbags ro stealing your phone and then getting on a horse. Yeah, and, black horses wear shysties. <laughs> All right, let's let's save this racial humor for later. On. All right, we're done to bring on another comedian. Who have we got? Oh, he, this guy's a Jew. <laughs> yeah. All right, please welcome to the stage, Ari Shafir. Ari Shafir is gonna come from the back now, ladies and gentlemen. Ari Shafir is coming back here. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joe Rogan, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Mr. Joe Rogan. <laughs> All right, well, he's gone. He's off doing Jew things. Yeah, the Jew. <laughs> wow, did we interrupt something? No, I was just standing there. You were just, you were just fucking me? You tried to make me look like a fool? Yeah. How'd it go? It did, it did make me look a fool. Okay, nice. nice. Hi what? guys, how, how are you guys? How are you doing? <laughs> Shafir, yeah. I'm the hit special Jew. 
Do you ever think of renaming that? Do you ever think of a different name for like Big Jew, Dead Jew, Mis Mr. Jew, Kike? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how do you spell? How do you even spell that? To get away with it, K-I space K-E is what I see most often in comments. <laughs> oh, there's a way. <laughs> As long as they're driving engagement. Yeah. Uh, 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 thanks for helping the algorithm. <laughs> a word they can't spell. Do you know the origin of the kaiko? What? The origin of the kaiko, the word? Mm -mm. It was, I don't, I don't want to say it again. Please tell us. <laughs> you, I think you've already said yeah, the hard no, part. <laughs> you, know, you know the origin of the word kaiko? Cool, I, I said even. the whole name. <laughs> it was, okay, it was a bunch of guys in Ellis Islands, a bunch of, you know. Shout they, out Ellis Island. Yeah. <laughs> Bunch of guys came to America and uh, they were, I think it's a circle, a kaiko, and they're like putting it in for their name. And then uh, we did, us, the Americans, are like, a bunch of these guys, they just called them the, sh the short way. It's so funny how the shorts are always the offensive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you short, like, like this fucking jab. Jab. Yeah. <laughs> when you, when you say this jab. Yeah, if you have an I at the end too. Oof. Jappy? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Tr tranny? Tranny's a bad one. Yes, I have heard that. It's like, it's like, so it's like transsexual. You shorten it to tranny. It's a fan self. Yeah. But then someone was like saying, all right, but if you. Billy if, is okay. Bi yeah, Billy is Bill, short for William. Instead of William. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But yeah. then someone was like, he, they countered that argument and go, well, if you call a black person blacky, also not great. Yeah. But the difference is, is you've actually, you've added. Yeah. Tranny yeah. is saving you time, blacky is adding time. <laughs> if you have to add time to the thing, that's racist. Yeah. Let's try, let's try, let's just try going around in life just going, is she transsexually? Just vernacularly, Chinese are not yeah, at yeah, that. No. It doesn't Chinese sound lead. terrible. It doesn't sound. It sounds better, but I'm China, not, hey, it, hey, whatever you want to be called, freaks. The I E O. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you freaks want to be known as. Homo. That's another one. <laughs> Homo. That's yeah, yeah. Short. It should be. It should be the short. You know, people don't like you abbreviating that. Homo. -y. Homo, uh, homie. We're homie. Yeah. homie. Homie. Hey, you get that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of homies, we got another uh, comedian. Please put your hands together. Welcome to the stage, Andy Haynes. Yeah. He's not anything. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this has all been a really going for it. How you doing, brother? Good. I I can't get away with saying any of the things you guys just said. <laughs> hey, try it. You might have forty people at a pod someday. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Is that giraffe ears? Yeah. Yeah. That couldn't find a horse. The fucking the, the neck on you. But you know, I realize I, I, I don't know what these fucking things are. It looks giraffe. like it's hurt. Giraffe. They're the giraffe horns. You you guys just said giraffe. Giraffe. <laughs> it looks like it's hurt. Giraffe has giraffes have horns, right? They but, have antennae. <laughs> yeah, they're in, they're antennae, right? Antennae. Yeah, they're beacons so. from the from the aliens. Oh, they play music. Is your horse making noise? <laughs> whoa, whoa, calm down now. Easy now, easy now. Lightning, lightning, whoa, lightning. Whoa, 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 lightning. Whoa, whoa. They're probably scared of how tall I am. He's just getting spooked. <laughs> Carney, that's a bad name for carnival worker. A Carney, Gypsy. it is. Yeah. yeah. Gypsy's bad for it's short for gypsum. <laughs> the gypsum lights. The, 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 the gypsum lights. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, we're trying to figure out uh, we're trying to fix uh slurs. What about Frenchie? Frenchy? Yeah, that. No, I, you think of frog is the offensive for a French. Mm. But but also, mm. what about Jew? If it's like just like, oh, look at it. Does my friend's a Jew? If I go, my friend's a fucking Jew. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's weird is that if you say Jap about a Japanese person, that's racist. Yeah. But if you say it about a Jewish American princess, yeah, it's accurate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're talking about a Jap Jap though. What's a Jap Jap? A Japanese Jewish American. <laughs> <laughs> Jap squared. <Yeah. laughs> I take offense to the first part of that. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Man. What's the What's the Irish uh, derogatory? Yeah. Uh, Mick. Patty. 
Patty. But this is the thing. Uh, we yeah. all have that, and we're we're the, you can't hurt us. Uh, <laughs> not like that, you know. You just I call mean, it smelly or dumb or whatever that does. Or work. be Catholic. <laughs> be Catholic. <laughs> yeah. Protestant. Wait, wait, be Protestant. Which ones do you guys hate? We hate the Protestants. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we hate the Huns. Sorry if you're a fucking Hun. Fucking, we hate you. Isn't it? Mary was a virgin. <laughs> and I'll fucking, I'll bomb you if you don't think that Mary was a virgin. <laughs> that was mostly it. Yes. They, they were like, Mary's not a virgin. And we're like, I'm not a fucking blow up your pub. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much the history of our. <laughs> She's a whore. Fuck you. Nah. I'm gonna shoot your kid's knee. <laughs> Dude, I was thinking about that today. Just how, like, uh, at the beginning of the Bible, the New Testament, it's kind of a rape. You know? What do you mean? Being forced to read it? <laughs> no, God just shows up and he's like, God damn, Mary. And then he just proceeds to impregnate her. They you should know? do a director's cut of the Bible where it, they actually fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's, I bet there's a manger scene on Pornhub. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hot hay sex. Yeah. yeah. It's how they get away with uh, showing titties on Instagram now is breastfeeding. With, I saw one in a manger. <laughs> yeah. That is interesting that these guys came to the wrong show. <laughs> They, 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 they've seen enough, and I'll be honest, Fanny is a him and a horn. You've seen enough. This is not, we're not trying to turn around to wholesome yeah, stuff yet. I thought this was Harry Potter, the Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> Wait, these previews last too long. They, 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 they thought this was a stomp where we throw yeah. shit at each other or whatever. They're like, no, you know, no, talk to each other too. They're like, rehashing what, what should we do? Should we get out of here? Yeah, they went for a while. Like, I don't, they're gonna notice. Like, just yeah. go. No matter what they say, just yeah. go for it. Just yeah. They won't mention us. They won't even notice. Yeah. Oh, I got one. Short and fur fence. Pedo. 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 Pedo's great. Pedo's good. No, Pedo's good. Pedo. Pedo's good. Pedo's like, hey, my uncle's a pedo. You know what I mean? If your if your uncle's a pedophile, he's not allowed to hang out. But if your uncle's a pedo, just wa just don't leave him alone with your. Yeah. I love the British one, nonce. He's a nonce. That's a good one. You fucking nonce. Yeah. He nonced him up. What's a nonce? It's, it's a, a pedo. 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 Oh, guy, oh. Just, guy just kids. The British have really well. cute terms like nonce is for pedo, and then sex pest is rapist. <laughs> Sex pest, yeah, they have. They sex do pest. say that, or they'd say a per. Sometimes they'll say sex perv rapes seven, and you're like, <laughs> is that is that what that is? <laughs> is that a perv? That's the English. I'm not saying that's the English. That's the dirty hunts. <laughs> but they do say that they go. They, they call them a sex. Perv. Yeah, and they also call like a slightly funny theater person a comedian. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do do that. We also call cigarettes fags. Did anybody else do that one yet? They, no. they do. Oh, dude, somebody has a, oh, is that the one slur? <laughs> That's your slur? All right. That, yeah, it is. My horse hates it. <laughs> he wants to leave. <laughs> your horse is uh, enough of that. Fair enough. Are you, he's buckling under the weight. Of <laughs> <laughs> First time I was in a horse with bad knees. And then... <laughs> Whoa, lightning! Not yet. <laughs> We're almost there. You gotta put him down, shoot him in the head. <laughs> hey, just stick this all the way through. <laughs> Do you know that thing where if a if a horse breaks its leg, they just have to kill it? Of course. That just seems. Kind mm. of in a, like, it seems like you probably could figure out a way to fix the horse's leg. <laughs> and they were just like, I don't want to fucking deal with this. Shoot the thing in the head. They're already on those chariots with wheels. That's halfway to those dog with the legs. <laughs> yeah. That is true. You, yeah, you're right. They should just take, uh, on it. The para, they should make like Paralympic horse racing. Yeah. <laughs> You're out, right. That is a, you know, stop shooting him in the head and then. I just wanted them to live. You went straight to racing. That's pretty fun. <laughs> well, that's, what, they, that's what they've been bred for. It's <laughs> all they know. <laughs> they, only, they only know the race. Yeah. <laughs> but that is a true, so they, it costs a lot of money to fucking breed a horse. And then yeah. once he falls and breaks his leg, the rehab costs so much money, they just shoot him live. At the event, in the back, they just yeah, they like they, the race horse, the horse racing in Ireland, England, thousands of people there, and they're all dressed like they're at a wedding. And yeah. then the guy who you lost your mortgage on just fell, 
and then they'll they'll put it they'll, they'll come out like a mob hit and just shoot them a horse <laughs> in the head right there they don't like wait until everyone's gone they shoot them right there and then do you think and then all- everyone goes woo <laughs> it's like part of the show it's they should let everybody who lost money shoot him oh wow. like everyone yeah everyone gets a kick everyone yeah, like gets everybody one kick to beat him just <laughs> How many how many kicks to an injured horse? If you're the, what's the, how many kicks to an injured horse until he's out? For me, maybe three. I stomp. Yeah. No. Three stomps on the yeah. neck. You curb stomping them. Yeah. I'm, I've been thinking about this for a long time, Colin. I'm glad you can you asked me this question. <laughs> do you guys in Ireland do they eat horse beef? Uh, not knowingly. Not knowingly. <laughs> You guys got Taco Bell too? We were feds. (laughs) You think Irish people can afford horse? Uh, we were fed a lot of horse actually by uh, what's the um, furni- the furniture manufacturer place? The Swedish- IKEA? IKEA. IKEA. IKEA was caught um, putting horse in their meatballs. Oh, really? And there was no. a lot of scandal. Yeah. IKEA? IKEA, yeah. Nay. Just say nay. <laughs> <laughs> nay way. <laughs> Yeah, who, who who's the logistics guy? The the guy right there, the the, the guy, yeah. the guy has no one sitting around him. Yeah, dude. Do you logistically sell children? Like, why can't you say it? <laughs> I wasn't even thinking that. <laughs> like, he sells women. <laughs> he works for Wayfair. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I just was thinking about that in the back. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's actually pretty interesting. <laughs> like, has a, someone who's like great at logistics ever been headhunted by like a child? Oh child yeah, <laughs> just like the cartels. Like, yo, we got to get this guy. He's fucking this guy's good. The best, dude. <laughs> He's fucking good. Yeah. He can get you some patio furniture from China to <laughs> yeah. Indiana in two days. It's like Ozarks. That's what Ozarks was. Yeah, that guy was just so good at money. The cartel was like, we need him. That is so. I brought everyone up as like an interesting thing, black Jew, and then it was just Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a thing that we could redo the intro? No, not really. I'm like pretty. I'm just a Northern European mutt. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not even dirty like you. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even. <laughs> I, I sense a little jealousy there. Gross white. <laughs> so, so I just ooze dirty, <laughs> dirty gypsy. Dirty gypsy <laughs> stuff. No gypsies in, is there? No. Wait, are. you guys call gypsies travelers in Ireland, Travelers, right? yeah, yeah, they're scum. <laughs> yeah, we don't like them. Sorry, I am bigot towards the gypsies. Uh, but my only thing is you got to meet them before you can judge me. I heard that. I was in, I was it's like Puerto there. Ricans, you know? <laughs> yeah. You hear racist things about Puerto Ricans and you're like, that's crazy. And then you meet them and you go, nah, I found they're, uni- <laughs> they're universally hated across, across all of Europe. They're like, no, don't be racist, but gypsies. Oh, uh, the gyp- n- they hate They the hate them. Well, Dude, here's when I was in they- Romania, they were like, you don't give them any money, but also don't get cursed. Do not, yeah. <laughs> well, there's two gypsies. There's the Romanian gypsies and then there's the Irish gypsies. Yeah. And so like the- What's the difference? One is brown. <laughs> the Irish are brown. Okay. Yeah, the Irish, the Irish gypsies what? just picked it, right? Uh, they left. They 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 worked themselves white. Oh, okay. Dude, all right. I feel yeah, like I'm, I'm, just telling, I'm sorry. You don't read a book. <laughs> I feel like I heard you on a podcast say you had a story with like a gypsy encounter before. You did me? Yeah, yeah. They're 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 every, they're just they're everywhere. They're, you, it's crazy. You go to like Spain and you're like. Yeah, they hate it more than anybody. Yeah, Spain. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone hates it. Look, I'm done. I'm telling you, it sounds horrible. They're not a race, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's not racist, but it is definitely bigotry. Yeah. <laughs> but this, again, you you gotta beat it. I'm just saying, you gotta beat it. It's like when you fucking you know you shoot an innocent person at war <laughs> it's like when you're at a foreign country defending america's right to invade a country and you shoot a woman who's holding her kid because you need somewhere to sleep it's like you're sure that's bad but at the same time like what are you gonna do not shoot an innocent iraqi we're out of killing innocents now we're in the business of destabilization yeah but the, but the gyp- i'll tell you this about the gypsies right so one of the biggest gypsy camps in the world is near my house um, so they 
these guys would just live in caravans for centuries. That's like, like a little, like a trailer for all that. Yeah. yeah <laughs> exactly. Well, they had a, like a real cart and buggy forever. And then eventually you were like, you can't just keep living on the side of the road. So they built a custom like, area like a social welfare kind of well, what do you want to call it what's the like like the projects, projects. i guess the projects there. and they had like a community center in the middle and they gave them all houses That's and good. they moved in and then they burnt the neighborhood to the ground the gypsies yeah they just i don't know they were celebrating a fucking wedding or something mm -hmm. and <laughs> they burnt the the multi-million dollar complex to a to the ground and then we go you can't help these people you can't <laughs> That's just where the kind of thing comes from. It's funny to hear, to feel people's like displeasure with this, but you just haven't met them. Yeah. <laughs> it did, I can feel you all going, no. I go, yeah, let, let them fucking tarmac yeah. your fucking driveway and see fucking. You like, yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, this is time. how little you guys care about the gypsies. Two million of them died in the Holocaust and none of you ever bring it up. <laughs> you know? I was like the Jews and the gypsies are like, hey. I, like, feel bad for, I, feel, I feel bad for the Jews that are in line with the gypsies. Jesus, <laughs> like here too? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're at Auschwitz, but you're also some guys stealing your fucking yeah, trying to pick sandals. Off your stripes, your striped pajamas. And you're like, there's nothing in there, dude. We have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> there's a guy, the guy set up three card Monty outside of the showers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that is Christ. true. Did they have their, genuinely though, did they have their own little gypsy uh, spot? Ari, this is one question for Ari. In the Holocaust? In the, during the Holocaust, <laughs> did they have like a gypsy oh. quarters and a person with glasses? Uh, I think they were all blended in together. It's a good question though. Hmm. I don't know. You don't know, you never asked? No. <laughs> <laughs> It is funny that they overlook it. When I was in when I was in Ljubljana, they were like, I heard a tour group and they were like, you know, the Slavs also suffered, possibly more than the Jews. And the whole group was like, ah. Not the narrative. Sorry, not the narrative. Did you, did you the narrative. Narrative. No, no, no. Did you go to any of the <laughs> any of the camps? Did you go to any of the camps for tours? I, ever? I already got a spoiler alert on that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't get that. Why do why do we visit those places? I went to the killing fields. I don't know. That seems like, that seems morbid. It's trauma porn. Why don't you just like tear it down and put houses, make it nice, make it a farm. This guy's a gypsy. <laughs> I will stand no longer for this, sir. Um, <laughs> no, okay. yeah, why cool. not make it a farm? Yeah, because you can grow life out of all the, you know, ash. Yeah, that's how I feel about Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> You should turn a Detroit into a, like an Auschwitz type of thing where you go, you visit, you can pay, and this is where Eminem yeah. got molested. Eight mile, mom's fair. Yeah. Tell you, I went to Auschwitz, good day out. Yeah? Good what? Good day out. What? Is good it, day out? It was a good it's day? A good day out, yeah. Really? What I wanted to ask was, do they have a gift shop? They genuinely do, yeah. <laughs> Of course. Like you can buy a t-shirt? Dude, the markup on a fucking koozie. <laughs> <laughs> Say what you want about these Jews, they know that. <laughs> Exit through the gift shop for sure. <laughs> There is, there's postcards and shirts and shit. Well, I don't know about shirts, but there's definitely postcards. I have a postcard from Auschwitz. Auschwitz. I would have loved to hear first hand of any survivors who worked free from that. It's like, you know, the death was definitely written about, but the level of complaining was <laughs> really not covered. <laughs> and it was wild. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we had to take him. He fell, you gotta shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> He's not dead yet, dude. <laughs> He's still got some life in him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holocaust, man, mostly sad, I guess I'd say. <laughs> if I was to put a nail in that coffin, I'd say mostly sad. I've yeah. been having a good time in Austin. Impressive logistics. I bet you look up to that, do you? <laughs> do you ever look at the logistics of a deck camp? That's immorally, yeah, morally wrong, but literally logistics can't get better than fucking him. Yeah, I bet Al <laughs> I bet trains in Auschwitz looks like the Indian trains. You ever see it with all the guys in them? All right. I have a, qu I have a question. I have a question. Please, yeah, yeah. Can, can you pronounce it like you think it's pronounced again? What? Which one? Logistics? Oh. Where? Logistics? No, another place. Auschwitz? All right, you got it. Better. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Auschwitz. <laughs> Auschwitz. <laughs> 
And all the whites leave going, yeah, Schwitz. Yeah. They like, like, go up in your slang. Oh, Schwitz, dude. Yeah, that's just a new slang me and my friends do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're lit. Oh, Schwitz. Oh, yeah. Schwitz. Yeah. You got to Schwitz it up. You yeah, know? Schwitz it up. You got to Schwitz it up. Yeah, da 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 <laughs> How are you like a moon tower so far? Sucks, terrible. <laughs> One of the worst decisions I've ever done. No. I want to know what what shows this audience passed up that they were like, wow, which one? Like they were close on instead of this one. Um, yeah, yeah. Sure. No, no, no. Don't answer that sincerely. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Don't it's over that, so it's okay. Don't hurt my feelings right to my face. <laughs> It'd be so funny if it was like women of color in comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the diversity showcase. Yeah. Austin's LGBT. Yeah. <laughs> it was that one. It, oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Was, well, I was talking about this today. It, it's funny when they do those shows where it's like women and gays and shit. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? It's like, well, how did women get lumped in with the fucking lesser? Like, yeah. bro, it's always women and gays and stuff. Yo, tell them that's what white women have been. Doing this for a long time. <laughs> White women have snuck their but ways into diversity, the, dude. White one, women are one diverse is the gender somehow. and one is the sexuality, yeah, and they're yeah. like, nah, nah. You just like, gender so I'm gonna get fries free with a burger. Gender you know? and sexuality aren't things anymore, brother. Well, educate Sorry. me, gender's brother. Over. Gender's over. Oh, he's back. Hey. 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 Wow. Yeah, let's go. Some yeah. single mom just had her wallet you give me stolen. A <laughs> <laughs> he just did a Princess Diana wave at us. Yeah. That's pretty hot. Yeah. 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 What's your name, buddy? Jeff. Oh yeah, what do you do? Uh, I work with self-driving cars. Oh, fuck yeah. That's the most Austin job ever. <laughs> Dude, what? is it Waymo? I'm not at liberty to say who I may or may not work with. That was a good ass fucking <laughs> guess. <laughs> and why, yeah, but why, can I point out that when he said, my name is Jeff, you go, oh yeah? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> like he was coming at you with that answer. I didn't, I didn't, well, I'm so, I don't like when people go, my name is Jeff and they don't give that full name. My uh, name they, is Keith. That, I think they're lying when I say, what's your name? They go, Maddie just realized she was on the woman's show. So she was like, oh, <laughs> I am on that. Ma Maddie, is both, <laughs> Maddie is both a woman and a gay thing. <laughs> give it up for Maddie Wiener. Woo! Maddie Wiener is gone, but she had fun. Now that she's gone, we can really have some fun. <laughs> Now that we're not getting fucking blogged about. Yeah, dude, now that the bitch is out, let's have some boy fun. Bring out the bruise. <laughs> let's do something so edgy that it's literally like a hate crime. Dude, you want to talk about- Let's do something so <laughs> ironic that it's genuinely, we go, we, do, we go to prison for it. Let's fuck a child. Come on, <laughs> let's do it. Smoke a child? <laughs> fuck, dude, bring me a child. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You said, let's do something so edgy, let's go to jail. Come on, dude. <laughs> Has anyone tried to find, just trail Jesse Smollett till he's alone and throw bleach at him? <laughs> like, no one will believe him. That's genuinely amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the boy who cried wolf. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Like we, ge we genuinely show yeah. 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 Put a noose around his neck. Yeah. <laughs> he can get actually hate crime now. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse, Jesse. What's, uh, do you guys think Prince or Michael Jackson's better? Jesus. Prince, Prince yeah. That's a bad Prince. answer. No, 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 no. They're giving, they're Prince, giving the fucking outsider Prince, answer. It's Michael yeah, Jackson. Michael clearly. Jackson eats Prince ass every day. <laughs> every single day. Prince, Prince is one of the in kids heaven? that was visiting. <laughs> yeah, in heaven. <laughs> it's crazy. They both died of the same thing. The 80s. Uh, overdose. They're both famous died. black guy. <laughs> <laughs> they both died of famous black guy. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's getting a lot of, that's going around. <laughs> Wait, what the Prince thought, it was an overdose? Yeah, they both, uh, Prince overdosed on fentanyl, I think, which was, I don't know, they, but it was opioids. Damn. Before it was cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, Prince was ahead of the curve. Right. Of overdosing, is that a good way to go or a bad way to go? It's cooler, it's definitely cooler than in the care of your doctor. But, the, <laughs> but I'm saying physically, physically, is it like, the most fun. Where do you? Sorry. <laughs> Where wow. are you going? 
P? No chance. No chance she's back. Yeah, right. she, lied. she lied through her fucking teeth right there. Yeah. P, I'll be right back in Uber. Take a video. Uber Prove to Maddie it. Wiener. <laughs> her and Maddie Wiener just literally hanging at the bar. Prove it. Bro, go in there and watch her make it. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up, but do voice memo, record it. <laughs> I want to hear dribbles. Or is she not allowed back in? And if I don't hear a hard stream, that means you didn't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, I've got a theory. How about this? Right? Do you ever hear about? Not only really people are afraid of trans women, I guess that they, they think they they're gonna be pretend to be trans, go into these women's bathrooms and attack women. Yeah. No, attack children. Children. Chil no. Attack children. Like, children like, children shouldn't be allowed to go into women's bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> children. Children shouldn't be out. Now, who are these kids by themselves in the bathroom? <laughs> well, whatever. Whatever the thing is, I I don't think that's. I don't think anyone wants to kill a woman and pretends to be a woman so they can kill. But I do think there might be some guys out there with a fart fetish <laughs> who pretend to be trans. So they can use a female bathroom and then they just listen to women fart. Maybe. And they get off on that. Like they're like sitting yeah. there and the That'd be weird if this was the hill you died on to be anti-trans. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, this is pro-trans. I don't think that I'm gonna kill a bitch, but then listen to her shit. I have, I'm saying there's a guy that's there going, yeah. Have you ever had okay. sex with a trans? <laughs> No, I've had sex no, on a train no. once. Yeah. <laughs> I love how they think that men just dressed as men can also just go into a woman's bathroom and beat the shit out of somebody. <laughs> like it's, it's a disguise that's stopping us from pushing open a door with no lock. <laughs> no, I'm a lady. I've got my wig on and my lipstick on. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> Once you're in there, you can't get out. Yeah. Once I was taking a dump at the comedy store in the, the girls' bathroom, but the show, the, there was no show in that room, and I was like really, really destroying it. And then uh, the other bathroom got too overcrowded, so they directed people in there, and I just had my. Oh, no. I mean, I was just sh a man shit smells different. You're laying waste. <laughs> and then these girls are in there talking, and then I was making some no some my ass was making some noises, and they're like, "Is somebody in there?" And I was like. Yes. <laughs> and then they started, you did it? Yeah, and then they started laughing and bolted. <laughs> and like, oh. They saw your nude, yeah. like your size elevens kicking out, your clown feet hanging out. <laughs> yes, I've got a heavy flow. <laughs> I got a huge shit. They called Sean Hannity immediately. <laughs> <laughs> what we expected was going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> I do feel bad. There is a thing though. You just you, you know you got these unisex bathrooms. I do feel worse when I destroy it. Yeah, I have a huge dirty roadkill of a shit, and then some little old lady's like, "Oh yes, I've." And you go, "Sorry, sorry, toots." <laughs> I love laying waste in fancy bathrooms. That's nice. But I'll go to a guy. If a guy's walking in there, I'll go fucking hold oh. your breath and I'll, I'll fucking oh. fist bump him. But if I see a woman, I go, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you ever done the thing where you go in and the guy before you shit and then the, it still smells like it. So you tell the person you're like, it wasn't me. It was the guy before me. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, see, I was just doing cocaine in there. <laughs> it was the least pleasurable cocaine because I had to smell. Yeah. <laughs> the stinkiest. I did cocaine to get the shit smell. I, I'm sober otherwise. <laughs> I should have relapsed. Out. That shit's uh, so bad that I relapsed on. So come here, come back. What? No, no, you're not allowed. <laughs> yeah. the Logistically, one. there's too many people in this room. We got to kick you out of here. <laughs> You had to go run the numbers. <laughs> this is fun. This is a fun, chill out vibe. I did want to. Yeah. I did want to do some. I didn't come up with a thing, but I did want to say like we could come up with a thing. Like, I got Uno cards in my bag. No, 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 no. no more suggestions from Lemire. Uno fucking rules, dude. No. Oh, whoa, boy. Whoa, whoa, boy. <laughs> I don't think that. I, I don't think that most uh, whites like these um, know that Uno is like a black game. I don't think they know. Really, that. Uno is not a black game. It's definitely a Latino game. <laughs> it's a black game. It's a black. It's all a my black, black friends play Uno. Yeah. Like every single gathering. It's like Monopoly. We have our own rules too. What do you mean? What do you? Wait. Like, wait. What know, are the like, rules of Uno? First of all, so I don't even know what Uno is. 
You don't know what Uno is. I've never played them. So sorry. I'm sorry. I'm from a place called Europe where you get all your where you get all your stuff. Yeah, you guys play one. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's as far as you can count. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it's not called Quattro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were so proud of yourself with that one. No, nah, dude, it's just a, it's like a color coded numbers game, basically. You match numbers, you match colors. Like Snap. Who? Snap. Yes. Yeah. yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right. It's like Snap. <laughs> yeah. And that's enough for me to know. None yeah. of us have heard of Snap. Know, is snap. There. Did you do like a year abroad, and that's why you know what Snap is? Shut the fuck up, <laughs> dumb bitch, <laughs> stupid bitch. <laughs> what a fucking dumb bitch. <laughs> I know you're on my side right now, but it's too tempting to just pile on you. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dumb broad. <laughs> Go to the fucking queer show if you want to chime in. <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing is I actually wanted to know. Of course. It, was, it, was, it was too good to not be like, shut the fuck. It was such a perfect she was so I, I asked her so I earnestly. Oh, that was so funny. She, genuinely, she was even on my side. And I was like, yeah, fuck her, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Please, what is Shut that? the fuck Please. up. Don't yeah, ever yeah. fucking chime in. <laughs> Do any any men want to answer that question? <laughs> <laughs> any fucking dudes here? No, no. You're know. getting closer to a horse, aren't you? What about Ding Dong? Oh, that's whoa, 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 I was gonna say ding dong ditch, but you can't do that here. What's ding dong ditch? Shoot you. Is that yeah. like a tongue twister where you say bad words? <laughs> no. no you oh. did, just, did you ding dong ding dong ditch in? You well, he's, first of all, he said bing dong dish. <laughs> <laughs> he said bing dong. They had different doorbells in Philly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you can't do yeah. ding dong ditch in the in the hood, can you? Like, what is it? I mean, it's no, like no, doorbells it's work. It's click click <laughs> knock knock ditch. Yeah, yeah. You do, you do intercom three B <laughs> ditch. Think of that. Do you accept a phone call oh, from? <laughs> Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> Do you accept this collect call from? Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> what, so what is, is it? It's a, it's a knickknack, I guess. No, it's just you just ring a doorbell and run. Yeah, we call that knickknacks, I think. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You go, you go up and go. You just knock the door. Yeah. Get out. We put somebody. We make them hold their phone. We Facetime them. Yeah. Right, right. We used to do a thing called pebble dashing, where you would throw like a stone through someone's window. <laughs> <laughs> Just a yeah. good Irish time. Good old Irish. <laughs> we're not even. We weren't even that bad at people. I guess we just would just. We used to play a game where we throw a brick through a Pakistani family's window, <laughs> <laughs> just to welcome them to the neighborhood. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You ever play hot cross buns yeah. where, you, where you burn a cross on a black yeah. family's lawn. <laughs> Yeah, we had we used to have a game. <laughs> hot cross buns. <laughs> what did you guys? Sorry, we didn't have the internet. <laughs> we had to do hot cross buns. <laughs> I was thinking about this a little bit, but a burning cross is kind of like a powerful image. If you take away all the fear, like you take away, finally, you take someone away gets the, it. You take away the. <laughs> finally, one of you guys got it. <laughs> Dude, if you take away the short fifty-year KKK meaning of it. Then like it does rule. It does rule. Dude. It also yeah. could it like if it wasn't the KKK thing. Yeah. And somebody was like, "Welcome to the neighborhood where we burn across yeah. for you." Yeah. It would be kind of a nice thing yeah, too. Like, you know, we're having a party. Yeah. <laughs> yeah where that was enough for these the guys. They were like, "All right, guys. get out of here. Yo, go Come watch on. your gay shit." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're all kind of not gay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of not. Yeah. But you know what? There's like cross burning stuff. There's like a festival in Europe. So somewhere where they just that's like what they do yeah there's, there's a like, lot of blackface festivals it, in europe <laughs> yeah Ecuador. it's the most fun thing <laughs> <laughs> there is a there's a couple of netherlands for christmas i think they all dress up in black black philip yeah. yeah black philip in ecuador they have it they have the mama negra yeah uh, <laughs> where they all dress up yeah, in black every babies. year somebody gets present like deemed the mama negra and then she gets to hold cross dresses man like a really high level person and then hold a baby and in, in blackface and they're like the king of the fucking ball 
And what do they get? To, what do they get to do? They just like they they order people around. They're just the queen of the ball. It was like, uh-uh, like some, uh-uh. uh-huh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, <Nah, nah. laughs> <Nope. Well>, <laughs> yeah. just talking <laughs> shit. Yeah. You fat as hell. You yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe or you see. <laughs> like Mama Negra. <laughs> I, I Why people don't season, season that chicken? Uh, <laughs> I was on this <laughs> island off of. Panama one time and they had like yeah, a did carnival did. festival. Yes. <laughs> it was all black Panamanians too. And it was like, the thing was like, you painted yourself in blacker face. <laughs> yeah, wow, what? Cause they were black. <laughs> yeah. And then they all got drunk and caused mischief. That was the whole <laughs> thing. Was they like ran around the island and they like pretended to rob you, like yeah. shake you down and stuff? So they just acted like American blacks? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's I, I love this so much. It was the 4th of July. <laughs> Where's I? What's the loophole on blacker face? Yeah. First of all, you're on a blacker face. Not bad. <laughs> then also they walk, walk up to you go, nah, I'm kidding. Wipe it off and go, I'm serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very serious right now. Yeah. What about the lips? What they do with yeah. the lips? I don't. I no, don't know. No red lipstick. I don't think so. Because you know Mickey Mouse is blackface, right? Mickey or, Mouse is blackface. Well, Mickey yeah. Mouse is a minstrel. Yeah. Like he has the white uh, gloves what's it, and, he, and he's like, Willie? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Minnie Mouse. Yeah. Al Jolson. Just a guy who. Minnie Mouse was trafficked. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's a sex worker. <laughs> Tucker Carlson. <laughs> <laughs> Was Minnie Mouse trafficked? Yo, did you know Goofy dated know. Jessica Rabbit? <laughs> Did you guys know that? They had a little fling, did they? Yeah, dude, it was in the Roger Rabbit movie right before they died. She was like, Roger, you're my favorite, even better than Goofy. Interesting. Yeah, right now, right? Well, well all right, Ari can answer this. You can't trust these hoes. Well, Ari. <laughs> 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 you think you know fucking rabbit? Yeah. <laughs> Ari, you've heard Disney's uh, low key anti Semitic? Disney is low key. He's high key anti Semitic. I guess high key. Uh, high key. What, Walt Disney? Well, yeah. I guess Walt Disney, the company, the corporation. Oh, you, I haven't heard it. You know? Walt Disney oh, was, because of their high prices. Yeah. <laughs> is that why that is? <laughs> Everything's an upsell. Disney yeah. Plus? 40? Disney Plus? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You've never heard this that they have like they have maybe like, they have like hidden uh, Nazi stuff in the movies and stuff. Really, that's cool. You know who will probably uncover that? Someone with intelligence enough to uncover a puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it was an Asian. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, that's pretty. I, no, I didn't know that. That's you cool. didn't hear that? Fuck! I thought you would have known. I don't mind. I, 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 I didn't make that up. Have you guys heard? No, that? I think Walt. Walt this guy who just hauled Hitler. Yeah. Walt. <laughs> <laughs> what? What, are they, what have you seen? He used to write anti-Semitic yeah. articles for newspaper. Yeah, but I'm looking for, for like I'm looking for like a swastika hidden in fucking. <laughs> Didn't they do that like with a dancing around with a, a moving brush or something? No. Charles Lindbergh uh, endorsed Hitler. Yeah, he did. The cheese guy is that cheese man? The guy, no, the guy he went missing. Uh, what happened to him? Didn't he fly somewhere and never he come back? He flew across from the Atlantic for the first time solo. But he never came back, right? He went missing. No, he came back and then his kid got kidnapped. His kid got kidnapped. What happened to the kid? Died. By the kidnappers or yeah. the old age? One that again died at 50. Sids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ford from Ford was uh, from the car company. He was super anti-Semitic and he would go uh, car dealership to car dealership putting his own like brochures out and it was full. They had to like take it out every time he left. Like, oh yeah, sure. And then they'd be like, damn, dude, this is it's like, it's good for everybody. No Jew should ever drive one. Yeah. It was like bad. You gotta look it up. That's for the specific details, but it, yeah. he, he got going. It is funny it's, when you hear that. You yeah. got the, the Jewish mind could never comprehend the uh, stop. And then sign. you just literally go to the back of your car and go like this. The Jews will never get this. <laughs> You're just like mowing down a Mexican family. <laughs> yeah. Did One you? horsepower car. <laughs> Yeah, no, I like the Jews. Shout out to the Jews. Shout out to the Jews. I'm kidding. Wait, I gotta no, let you I'm guys not. know. We said a lot of stuff tonight, but shout out to the Jews. <laughs> shout out Brisket. Shout out. Uh, shout out Larry David. Shout out. Shout out the of Jesus, I guess. Amy Winehouse. 
Amy Winehouse was Jewish. Was she a Jew? Yeah, yeah. You, she was a Jew because I could even when she was big, I was like, this chick is ugly. You guys aren't seeing it. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's just a chick with a wig. You guys love wigs. Yeah, that sh- eye shadow that goes this way. People yeah. like she's hot. I'm like, ugh, I could just see the mate. Ugh, she's yeah. clearly just covering up a gross face. Do you? I do you think uh, celebrities, if they can pass as non-Jewish, they will take that as a as an option? Like, is there like a beauty? Like Miles yeah. Teller is probably Jewish, but he's like he doesn't look Jewish enough, so he's like, I'm not fucking clinging to that. Well, you don't know this, but Teller is short for Tellerberg. <laughs> Teller. Miles Tellerberg. Yeah. Did you know what I mean? No, his original name was Collaborator. <laughs> My pops, yeah, his parents were uh, Nazi collaborators. <laughs> they changed it, but it kept Jews the meaning. Collaborator. He was, he was told on his friends. I think, I think Natalie Portman's real last name is something super Jewish, like Hornchonk or something. <laughs> hidden horns. Devil woman, hidden hornchonk. Bob Dylan, for sure. He's something. Was he Jew? Yeah, Dice. Dice, yeah, yeah, okay, Silverstein. Dice, but that's a car, yeah, that's a, yeah. Uh, but there is, there is, sometimes you find a celebrity who's like most. Only Whoopi Goldberg changed her name to more Jewish. <laughs> She's the only one. She's not from the Goldbergs? <laughs> What's her real name? Whoopi. What? Wait, is Whoopi also not her real name? That's <laughs> pop, that I doubt less. <laughs> <laughs> she did become Jewish, Joe. What? Dude, she did become Jewish. Did you know she dated Ted Danson? Yes, and he did blackface. Yay! Shout out to Teddy. <laughs> Shout out like, to it was like her 40th birthday. He thought it would be funny if he went up in blackface. And how did, they, did the crowd like it? Or no, nobody liked it, and they've like erased all the footage of it. <laughs> he came out. He's like, the music was playing. The music was playing. Uh oh, oh, oh. There was a scene in. Uh, Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce in 1993. <laughs> Single ladies. There's one scene. I'm a black lady. I'm a black lady. I'm a black lady. I'm a black lady. <laughs> that's, all he's, that's all he's saying. <laughs> By the way, if you bomb in blackface, that's a bomb. That's a bomb. Oh, that's a bomb. That's that's a, just get out of it. I bombed, but I've never bombed in blackface. <laughs> I usually crush in blackface. <laughs> <laughs> but bombing in blackface has to be the all time. <laughs> Love at the bottom, yeah. Just everyone goes. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta find a picture of that, and they gotta dub over the scene in Cheers where he takes over sports sports jockey for the week. Yeah. And he raps, he raps on air, but it's a terrible white rap. <laughs> they gotta put that over that picture. <laughs> when you bomb in blackface, you gotta go back and look in the mirror, and it's just like, oh yeah, all the black shit off your face. Yeah. You got, you've already got the pain of bombing, and then you're like wiping off makeup, yeah. and you, you, you have to ask for more wet wipes. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and then someone's there going, no, it was fine. No, they, they just weren't like laughing out loud. Yeah, they just didn't get you. <laughs> I think there was a there was a movie in the '90s. Uh, I can't. Remember. I think it was Pulp called. Fiction. Bru- what what the fuck was it called? I can't uh, remember. Blue, but it's a guy. Yes. He he goes. Yes. Yeah, Soul yes. Man. He Soul goes Man. in. Yes. Yeah. He goes in blackface. No, 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 no. He takes tanning pills. Is it tanning pills? He overdoses on tanning pills. But he does it, and then he falls in love with the black girl, and then she finds out that he's pretending to be black, and she gets really. She find out, bad and, dick. But the very <laughs> last. That dick ain't black. The very last scene in the movie is he's transformed himself permanently into blackface. <laughs> oh and no! She's like, oh, that's great. <laughs> That's like shallow hours. <laughs> like yeah. when the, the end is he's black. He's like he transformed himself black, like Avatar. You got to respect that. That was like that was like just a, like Avatar. Like Avatar, when he he ends up. I'm with these. I'm with these bush people. <laughs> they seem like animals, but they're nice. I promise you. <laughs> the whole thing is going. No, we can't take out their neighborhood. I promise you. They have their own language and, and music. And they love the herbs. Have you ever met their women? <laughs> it's Avatar, but it's Harlem. It's just uh, <laughs> Harlem. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, he, this guy in this movie in the eighties or whatever, he overdoses on black. Wait, what was the whole premise of the? He just turned into a black man. And then he, possible. yeah, he wanted to he'd get like a diversity hire kind of thing. <laughs> don't don't let these it guys silence. That guy's not really Mexican. Hey, He's just <laughs> tanning and dyeing his hair. <laughs> And wait, wait. So he wanted to go to law school, so he took the ten tanning pills because they. Pills to try and get a scholarship. He wanted to get an affirmative action yes. thing. Yeah. Yes. And, he, so he and did he get it? He got it. He got it. And then he realized this wasn't right. The error of his ways. Yeah, because it wasn't just it wasn't just casual. He took a spot in law yeah, school from a, a black guy. So what? Who gives a fuck? 
<laughs> there is an argument here to be like, so what, Erna? This sounds like a movie that should be on Fox Nation. <laughs> 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 yeah, Tyler Fisher. Hoping <laughs> 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 the, the new Webster. Ben Shapiro. This is a great movie. That really comments on that. <laughs> yeah, and then he learned the error of his ways, and then he tried to give the spot to like a real person who deserved it. No, he just turned. Well, this is a lot like Shane Gillis when he got a fucking college spot in fucking football, and then he left after four and a half days. So he. <laughs> He should have let a real fucking athlete take it. Yeah, it's all about. Y'all love him, but he has some cl- fucking skeletons in that closet. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> and then so at the end, of, but then he ends up black. It's like that's the end of the movie. He's like, I, I'm a black guy. I don't now. remember the end like that. That's it's, not a good ending. Is, isn't that what happens at the end? No, no, no. I, I, sorry, not the, please, please, I, please. I, 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 he, um, he, like, James Earl Jones is, like, this... Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Fucking asshole! Shut the fuck up, bro! What the hell? Fuck! Lady, can you explain the end of the movie? I'm sorry. (laughs) You look, you look, you look like a a man, but you're obviously just a hairy woman. You're just an ugly woman. Jesus. God, that guy sucks. (laughs) Oh, my God. Why would he even chime in like that? I do, I do. We never once asked him a question. Oh, damn. God damn it, I do wish we knew I the do end of that know, movie, though. though. I really do want to know. Hey, though. you two. Really? Hey, you two. Get the fuck out. <laughs> you can have that one. Bye-bye. Wait, isn't there another one where a guy pretends to be a chick so he can dominate the WNBA? Yeah, Juwanda yeah. Juwanda 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 man. Was it? And, and how man. that hasn't happened in real life yet is, like, wild. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting I, like, All these wait. people say, you can just dress up and do it. And, like, uh-huh. <laughs> Do this it. is the problem. <laughs> I do believe if you intentionally transed yourself to yep. win gold, that is a winner's mind. Like that's like a bigger <laughs> winner. <laughs> I do believe if you wanted gold so bad that yep. you said, fuck it, I'm putting on lipstick. Uh huh. That's your. <laughs> it's like in an MMA fight where they're like, oh, should they see, like, oh, shit, they hurt their leg. And you're like, I'm going to target that leg. Of course. Yeah. And you're like, come on, can you not? I'm like, no. I'm grabbing the cage okay. and I'm going to do it until they yeah. fucking give me a point. And I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm putting on a wig and I'm going to dominate the fucking breaststroke. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, any starter of any Division One basketball team that's under 50. <laughs> could start in the WNBA. Yeah, yeah. So you're telling me there's a shot. This is it, but this is the issue. The only ones that have transitioned that have been like lower, there's no, no one in the top 200 has the mentality of going, let me go to the B League. Right. Right. They all go, the they all still want the gold. So it's only been the lowest of the low go, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to. So they go. I know I'm not. Let me try this. It's That's, like when Nate Bargatze took off, he goes, I think I, if I practice, I can make the senior league. <laughs> Senior league. When I'm 50, I can make the senior tour. <laughs> what? Yeah, because he knows he has no chance to be in the actual PGA yeah. tour. But he goes, if my body doesn't fail me, which it will, then, uh, <laughs> he goes, I got to show. They all say that. Well, oh, if I stay healthy. I'm like, oh, yeah, you're going to stay healthier than fucking Tiger Woods or Phil Nicholson. <laughs> but yeah. isn't Couples like 66? Yeah, he's not good anymore, though. He's just out there. He's in the Masters. Show. He played two days. No, that, no, you just get an automatic invite from winning in the past. No. First day. Sorry, I was raised by women. You do have to go. (laughs) Interesting. Yo, there's a dude in the LGP, LPGA. No, there's a not. dude. There's a dude. Well, he's it's no, you mean, you, you the mean, announcer. You mean the, the half course league? No, there's a guy killing <laughs> ladies. Oh, you mean the three par league? Great. <laughs> it's just like a dude. He's like just like a regular dude with titties. It's just like <laughs> it's crazy. Oh no, that's that's a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can tomato, see tomato. <laughs> oh, okay, I see where you went wrong there. They're just. They're, they're Did different. you never have a gym teacher? <laughs> like you haven't, <laughs> you haven't seen one of these before. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had a high gym teacher. I didn't know she was a lesbian until like madly. Why she fucking rejected you? No, yeah. <laughs> I love you. Was she white? <laughs> I just didn't know. You white or black teachers? Uh, white. I went to white high school. Nice. This yeah. is how shitty the WNBA was when I was in middle school. My gym teacher was in the WNBA. <laughs> no, really? It was like a side gig. Yeah, like gym <laughs> teaching was where she made money, and that was our bread and butter. The, the, the WNBA was where the she WNBA got was for, for the weekend. <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. Now I'm, I'm earning my thirty-four thousand dollars a year if we can hmm. teach in gym. But <laughs> you know what? I love my real see. passion is being in the WNBA. <laughs> <laughs> it's like comedy. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's, that hurts. <laughs> hey, we're all having fun at the WNBA, but then you bring it back to home, you go, fuck. <laughs> that does hurt you. <laughs> I would love to see Caitlin Cook get as much, paid as much as like Victor Wembanyama, and yeah. then what she deserved for being that great, and then see the WNBA fold instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, we are your salary in debt now. Yeah. Wait, also, wait, there was, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see this, but I saw like the headline of a tweet or whatever. There was like two, there was like two creepy comments to Caitlin Clark. She was like doing her like Indiana thing. Yeah. And then someone, does anyone, do you know this or does anyone know no, this? No. You guys didn't see this at all? Wait, uh, there was a creepy comment online? No. The, 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 one, of, one of the interviewers said something like, uh, she has, she does this like fucking love heart. heart. It's like Legion of Skanks, but for fucking chicks. I think chicks, it's skank right? hands. Yeah. Uh, she did a love heart. And then finally one of the and Somebody's like, what's your pussy smell like? Yeah. yeah. And he goes like that. And she goes, oh, thanks for doing that. And he goes, uh, if you do it to me, I'd, I'd love it or something. And everyone's like, what a prick, dude. Oh, but it's what? like, but I just think Caitlin Clark does. No, the guy's just trying to Caitlin Clark look, looks like you. But Caitlin Clark looks like when you like doodle a face on a fucking bathroom wall. Hmm. Right? I don't think there's an interviewer trying to sexually har har harass. There are some hot ladies in this. Oh, yeah, let me sh here's my opportunity now to fucking throw something offensive at a 644 fucking washboard. <laughs> <laughs> she is hot when she's playing because she is next to 11 lesbians. Yes. <laughs> and it's like, she's not she's bad. She's surrounded by black women, yeah. yes. <laughs> Dude, there's some hot girls in the WNBA. Yeah, that's of course, true. of course. There's some hot ones. I'd let them cradle me. And <laughs> I get it. I get that kind of like, yo, yeah. protect me. I get that kind of turned on. But what do you think not? pussy tastes like after a WNBA game? Oh. <laughs> what do you think? Oh. What do you think? Thick. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 it's like, uh, like MSG, like yeah. like umami on your tongue. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah, 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 like yeah. a PD whiskey, like lapsan sushan tea. Point, like <laughs> Russian caravan. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? That's what you deserve, you piggy. <laughs> she gets off. She just fucking played again. She just gets you down there and goes, "Eat yeah. that, you fucking pig." Yeah. And that's what you deserve when you date a WNBA player. I, I get it. I look. You got to know your role. I <laughs> I used to practice with a girls team in Maryland. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, go Terps. And, go Terps. Uh, one time, me and my buddy Jesse, another practice player, were walking across our quad. We saw some guy like be beating the shit out of his girlfriend. So, because we were together. You joined in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck that bitch. <laughs> I, I, should, I should do something. <laughs> and you're right on. <laughs> You should do something. Okay. <laughs> Hold it up. Get him, bro. Yeah. Get him. <laughs> so what did you do to this man? <laughs> did you look at him, man? <laughs> so we got up there. We're like, let's do something. And we we're like, we went up there. And then it was like one of the girls' players beating up her girlfriend. And oh. As we got closer, we realized, like, Keisha, how you doing? That's fine. And we just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> That's very progressive of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to stop your fair fight. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then you go to, to the bigger one. Women, huh? <laughs> Broads, huh? What are we going to do? Sheesh. I like right. to slap mine around too. <laughs> yo, yo, we're gonna wrap it up. That was uh, contractually an hour. So, um, <laughs> does uh, anyone have any questions? This feels like a real Edinburgh show right here. It is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, a couple left in the middle. Not many laughs, Sports but a message. Intended. We did yeah. have a, a true tone. Um, any questions for the panel? They are a panel now, officially a panel. We got a black a Jew and a guy. <laughs> best gear in comedy, Andy Haynes. Best gear in comedy. Spread it around. Check him out. Check him out. Check out uh, Ari Shafir on the road. Yeah, he's, he's killing it. The special was great. He's going to record a special soon. Lemur Lee, you're on the. You're out and about. Not yet. <laughs> he's out and about, dude. Oh, I'm not doing nothing yet. He's going to at many Bucky's rest stops all over the country. <laughs> Fort, Fort, Fort Mike on, on Matt and Shane. Yeah, catch me out on Fortnite. I thought you said Fortnite. I was I think say, said catch Fortnite. me on Fortnite. I'm fucking rolling, getting a lot of victory royales. Yo, <laughs> There's Andy, a question. Andy, oh, there is a question? Well, let me plug Andy. Hey, Andy, tell them where the people can see you do stuff. Well, hold on. How come you set us up? 
No, I, I was giving you all stuff, and then I. Realized, it's because you don't know my credits. <laughs> Go follow his wife. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> he might be open Probably for fair. his wife Probably sometime. Fair. Yeah, she might let me open for her. <laughs> Maybe babysit him for <laughs> while his wife is. I'll be in the green room and then selling merch. So <laughs> if you can see me, I've been doing comedy twenty years. It's great. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, just I'm Andy Haynes. I'm on the road. Andy yeah. Haynes, great comedian. All right, we do have one question from the audience. What was that? What was the, where's the gun? Yeah, there you are. Yeah, you, yeah. Uh, you Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you stupid bitch. <laughs> no, go ahead, sorry. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, 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 go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 go Hey, guys, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Ari Shafir at the Paramount. Yeah. Ari Shafir at the Paramount. Lots of tickets yeah. left, folks. If you guys have the money, go to try Ari Shafir at the if Paramount. If you have 600 friends, you can't get in. If you have 580 <laughs> friends, you can you get your right in. Go see Ari Shafir. Uh, I, I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for coming yeah. out. Appreciate it. Woo! Appreciate it. Give it up for all the guys you saw. Thank you.